you know, I consider myself an Englishman through and through. I live in the southeast of England. I have my whole life, and that's how I identify with this country of mine I live in. Now, all the political class harp on about Great Britain, United Kingdom. At the end of the day, all the Great Britain or United Kingdom is, is a union of sorts made up of different countries sat on a lump of rock in the middle of the North Sea. That's that's how it, you know, that's how it is in reality. Now, one thing that binds us all in this country, England, even Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, we are all completely disenfranchised with the governments that oversee everything we do, everything we say, and everything we're allowed to do, and the establishment as a whole. Myself, I've been disenfranchised, I suppose, for at least the better part of the last 20 years. And one of the things I've always done is look for an alternative and believe one day something will come along which will mend everything. Now, if you look back in our history, uh, at least 300 years, you can see where the beginnings of all of our current problems come from uh, with acts of union and other things which have led us to the, well, fuck up we've got now. Excuse my language. Now, one of the things that people look for as an alternative is another party. First past the post, be damned. I I believe that if enough pers people come out in enough quantities, they can still make the difference. Now, one of the, uh, or the main party that people look to, a reform. Yes, that's all I see. Let's vote reform. Let's big up reform. Let's, uh, let's get them in place. They can change everything. I work very closely with a, a member of the reform party to do with the child maintenance service. And I, I value that relationship very much. So I was a bit hesitant making this video as a result of that but looking at the situation no i can't stay silent so i'm gonna set out my stool as diplomatically as possible this was on twitter uh yesterday morning richard tice in central ukraine as part of the volunteer group delivering nine four befores packed full of medical supplies in the uk amazing team raised some £100,000 for this trip alone, their fifth over the last 18 months. You can see him there smiling, waving, looking very proud to be there. Now, before everybody jumps on me, I, you know, if people are in genuine need, of course they need help, of course they need medical supplies, and of course they need money. But to a lot of those disenfranchised people, we need that here. We, we need that at home. We have homeless veterans, homeless people who don't have any money, can't afford operations, massive waiting lists uh, for the NHS and so on and so on and so forth. Now, there it is again. Is this a titanic mistake he has just made? Because at the end of the day, uh, folks, when you, when you stick yourself in the limelight, be it on a camera on YouTube or in political life of any kind, every single move uh, that you make is watched. Every single thing that you say is critiqued. And all of that forms public opinion. And it'll either be for you or against you. Me personally, I looked at that and I thought, oh, my God. It stinks to me of out of touch and should never have happened. Now, I'm going to give Richard the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to say there's an advisor that told him it was a good idea to go there. I don't know if that's that was the truth or not. He may have made that decision for himself. If there was an advisor, should be sacked. If it was Richard, then I don't know what to say. Do, do you... You know, you've got to have a look at the people that are coming on uh, to reform and think, is this what they want to see? Is this what they want to happen? Or should we be concentrating our efforts here first? Difficult one. Let me know what you think in the comments.
and I look forward to reading them. Perhaps we can have a readout at some point. If you want to see another one of my videos on this kind of subject, do that one there. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.